Hello. So I've uh, need, had a need to run this 110 VAC uh, US uh, power based Fortier gun from Mitkel, which just arrived. And um, so I was thinking of building another uh, step down transformer, but instead I actually made some patches to this unit. So first of all, what I've done here is I've removed the DMM there, which was recording the current. So the two posts on the right have been removed. So the reason is that's in serial with the uh, switch, with the kill, kill switch. So what that means is the kill switch is in which it, it basically acts as a short. So I don't need to run a DMM all the time. But what I'm going to show you first now here is, uh, is that down? Yeah, it's down. So I'm going to basically power the Metcal. Okay. And what's going to happen now is I've got this fluke up here, and that's got that will do that there, and it's got a remote con con well, unit here essentially. It's showing about 2.1, 2.3 amps usually. We can see that on the analog meter as well. Unfortunately, it's not well calibrated. It's showing closer to 3 amps, um, which is which is a shame, right? Now, due to the load, you can see it's showing 70 degrees. That's because this is, this is loading loading the line. Anyways, here we have 220 or degrees. I've got a thermocouple yanked and just bent into the end there, right? And this is a decent temp. I don't want to push it too far because the max current on the on the variac which is that brown big thing there. It, it's rated for two amps um, output. And I don't want to exceed that. Um, and so the way I set this up is I first plug in a bulb, a single bulb, and tune the voltage to 110 VSC. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn this off. And you'll see the Metcal, what it does is it runs the pump to keep things cool till the temp drops. And now, of course, the current draw is your minimal. They're not showing much there, right? And the, and the voltage jump back up. Simply because there is no load, essentially. And what I also did here was, I finally wired the switch in. So it's zero is the center position is off. Left is number one which is direct, and two is going to be uh, through the bulbs, so current limit essentially, but I've disconnected that because I've run out of Vega connectors, of all things, right? Running out of Vega connectors, seriously. But as soon as the, the temp comes to around 70, 80 degrees, it, it auto shuts off. Um, but the most important fix I did on this the most critical fix is I fitted in. What did I fit? Here we go. In white. I fitted in white. First, uh, a two amp breaker, and then I also fit in a fuse. So, the key part or the rule of fuses is um, the upstream end should always be at the load. So you want to fuse right before your load. Now what this means here is I'm protecting the common winding of the variac. If I just relied on a fuse on the primary side of the isolation transformer, the current in the variac can easily spike 3 plus amps or even more during a, a short. And that means what's going to happen first, I will have a fuse at the mains, but the core winding on the variac um, on the common common side will short and burn and you know could be worse than that so you always need to have fuse on on, on the final output side and there you have it so that's the most critical upgrade that's been done here and now will box this up and then I will hopefully have a better workstation um, 
put you to get some hot air uh, soldering done. Thank. That's it. Cheers.